How to open a childcare business. Operating a childcare business is a great way to earn a living if you enjoy working with children. Generally speaking, there are two main ways to run a childcare business. If you want to care for a large amount of children, your best option is to start a center-based business. Those with children of their own, or who want to work from home, may want to consider a home-based, or family, childcare center. Whichever form you choose, you will want to understand how to properly set up your business. Developing a business plan. Assess the need for child care in your community. Before you decide to open a business that provides child care services, your first step should be to research the market for that service in your community. There are several ways you can obtain this information, but perhaps the best way to do this is to talk directly to local parents to determine the specific child care needs of the community in which you want to do business. Try some of the following. Interview several families and ask the parents what type of child care they could benefit from, and the extent to which this type of service is already provided by local businesses. Look at census data for your community, including the number of working families with children of an appropriate age, the number of recent marriages, and the income distribution of those families. You can find this information from a number of sources, including the U.S. Census Bureau or your local municipal government office. Identify existing child care businesses. Your next step should be to determine who your potential competitors might be. If there are a number of businesses in your area offering a certain type of child care, it would be best for you to distinguish yourself by serving a need yet unmet in your community. Consider some of the following when evaluating your potential competitors. What age groups are already being served? What are the hours of the other businesses? What types of child care services are already on offer in your community? How many of these types of businesses already exist in your community? Decide whether you will operate a home-based or center-based child care business. While the specific types of child care you may decide to offer are numerous, there are basically two forms of child care businesses, one, a business run out of your home or two, a business run at an independent location. Which type of child care business you would like to run will determine what you will need to account for in your budget and what legal requirements with which you will have to comply. When making this decision, consider that home-based child care businesses generally have fewer expenses and lower overhead, have more flexible hours, and are more convenient for you and, likely, the parents whose needs you will be serving. The legal requirements to operate a home-based child care business are also generally less strict than those for a center-based child care business. One. On the other hand, a center-based business, while probably more expensive to establish and operate, will provide greater space so you can expand your business and earn greater revenue. Decide what kind of child care business you want to operate. After deciding whether you wish to operate your child care business at home or in an independent facility, the next step is to decide what type of child care you would like to offer. Perhaps the best way to start making this decision is to examine your motivations for going into the child care business. By considering why you want to get into this type of business in the first place, you can better understand what exactly you want to offer your community. Do you want to offer care based around a particular faith? Do you want to offer a learning environment focused on building or reinforcing skills? Do you want to offer a space for children to come and play? Deciding what type of service you will offer up front will not only allow you to build the business you want, but it will also allow you to budget for the things you might need to run such a center effectively educational materials, toys, etc. Make a budget. One of the most important things you can do when preparing to start a business is to make a budget. Doing so will help you plan for the future of your business, and ensure that it has the opportunity to succeed based on the funding you have available to you. You should consider startup expenses, annual expenses, and monthly operating expenses. When making your budget, consider the following types of expenditures. Licensing, inspection, and insurance fees. Medical testing and clearance. Safety devices e.g., smoke alarms, fire extinguishers, carbon monoxide detectors, first aid kits, child-proofing supplies, etc., food, toys, and equipment for your planned activities. Wages for prospective employees. Advertising, legal, professional service fees. Rent, mortgage, and utility fees. Choose a name for your business. One of the more important steps in the process is choosing a name for your business, because that is what will represent your services to the outside world. Your name should be catchy, easy to remember, and should indicate the type of service you will be providing. You will need to check with the Secretary of State's office for your state to ensure that your proposed name does not conflict with any other name currently on record with the Secretary of State. Choose a type of business entity. There are several different types of legal structures for your potential business, each with its own benefits and drawbacks. For instance, if you operate as a sole proprietor, you will have likely have an easier time filing your taxes. However, if you operate as a corporation or a limited liability company, you will be able to limit your liability for anything that happens while you operate your business to the funds that you placed in your business i.e., you will not be personally liable. You should strongly consider speaking with a local attorney experienced in business formation, structure in order to get a good understanding of the different types of structures available to you before you choose one.